Just to, to unwind, you know what I mean? What, what at this point now? Because the city has changed a lot, it continues to change. But at this moment, you know, in the city, where is that that safe space for you? Where do you get to to chill? Don't give away the location, but like you know, what what's like a what's a, what's a kickback day like for for Trick Trick? Saturday is my Sabbath, uh, uh, peaceful Sabbath to all. Um, so that's the day I really like I, I enforce in my household and I enforce in my life sometimes we got to tell ourselves sit down that's real you know uh, and I, I tell myself it's the seventh day being the Saturday on any calendar mm -hmm. I have a look at mm -hmm. the most high rested on the Sabbath yeah. on the seventh day and that's the day I'm going to rest yeah. my life has been extremely blessed since I've started following that protocol and uh in, in within that day, I'm making my business to you know just relax my mind. Un you know stay off the Instagram, watch TV with my old lady, yeah. my puppy. Yeah, know. quality time. Yeah, maybe maybe go outside and sit in the backyard and just you know just you no know, work. You know, don't do nothing. Just and talk. You know, talk. People don't even talk no more. That's right? true. It's true, they, know, they text, I, they type. Yeah, yeah, they you know. I had conversation, call and check on my mother, yeah. you know, my mother and father, and, you know, enjoy the day. Maybe go see a movie or something later on. I like the bowl. I mean, you know, any given day, I'm subject to, you know, if I'm going to go have some fun or something, I'm going to pick a day to go to the bowling alley property. or something yeah. or go to the movies or gotcha. something. And then when I get down, go to the studio. I'm the owner. Yeah, so I go in there when I get True ready. True you know that. what I mean? It'd be five o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the afternoon. So, um, you know, it's just. Uh, but the, I'm be honest with you. The normal course of the day is, I would say, eighty five percent of the time I'm chilling anyway. Even when I'm working, you know, because you have to absorb all this with a clear mind. Yes. And you can't do that excited and upset, you know, and angry and scared, you know, and uh, paranoid and lost. Mm -hmm. You have to have a clear mind and you have, in order to have a clear a problem. I'm going to tell you about problems right quick. Problems are only, the only thing problems need is a solution. When you realize that only thing a problem that can fix a problem is a solution is, so okay, yeah, we got a problem. What's the solution? <laughs> right. I'm sure we can figure this out right quick when we calm down. As we relax, and most of I want to absorb the day and what's going on throughout the day and what's going on in the world because it's a lot of things going on in the world that upset me. Yeah, I'm angry about you know, and I'm I'm fearful about. I'm fearful for my people. Yeah. you know, I'm angry about how my people have been treated, you know, and I'm I'm angry about the plan for my people, and, and I have to have a clear mind so I don't go off the horn. A couple times I done got to that gram uh, just let loose mm -hmm. on a couple people and sometimes I retracted if I felt like I was wrong going too far but sometimes I have to let it stay you yeah. know the governor of Michigan right now he's being an asshole times a million right he's now he's being an asshole the governor of Michigan governor of Michigan right now times a million not take responsibility for his actions not his actions he did that now right. he got children we live with our dying. actions literally kids will yeah. have outcomes dying. that won't be what fault. they would have he knew that been. He knew he needed to take responsibility for that. Get his ass out of office. Yeah, MP Schneider. That's where I'm at with it. Uh, yeah, we're uh, yes, yeah, talking about uh, you know the issues that are taking place in Flint, Michigan, yeah. uh, in particular, uh, in a financial saving move. Uh, the governor, through uh, emergency financial action, decided to stop receiving water from the Detroit Water uh, and Treatment uh, Process and to reactivate the pipes on the Flint River. Uh, 
old lead came into people's homes and yeah, it's messed up and no one's talking about it. And it's just now starting to get national traction. Uh, but in the meantime, you got people who have been voiceless who have been, like, their lives have been affected in ways that they can't get back. And he won't take responsibility for it. Oh, he gone on that. Got to. Most eyes won't allow that uh, type of demonic action publicly seen to let Definitely. Oh, oh shit. They burn flint down. For real? Yeah. For real? Because ain't, no, I mean, ain't no... We can walk no him out of office if we... You if, if we came together. Hello. If what we I came say, together. What I said, you can walk anybody you want right out of the office that they sit in mm -hmm. and come together. Man. And then there's other one. Dugan. With the schools. Mushrooms growing out the walls. Fungus. Black mold. mold yeah. Black mold. Yeah. Black mold. Yeah. Yeah. These are... Yeah. Our, these are children. I went to DPS. You know what I mean? I, I came through those hallways and uh I went to DPS too. And I really want to go back and kick somebody's you know, ass for giving us that cold baloney back in the day. Nasty it, it, it These never, are the young people that have to be a part of the existence of tomorrow. That's right. Your future days, may you be blessed with them. These young people are, will run. This motherfucker, one way or the other. And will depend on that. Be it the ones you put in that public school and put all that shit in their face and give those give them these horrible accommodations and these horrible environments. Yep. Where and they come out on that tip. Mm -hmm. Then you be looking at them crazy, they talking about shit. they need to <laughs> we need more police and all that shit. No, you they did that. That's right. You did that to them. You closed that community center around that motherfucker. Mm -hmm. You did that to them. Mm -hmm. You closed the school, the school. You closed the school. You closed yeah. the you closed school. school. You closed the school and you let it sit there. Yeah. And you just let it sit there. And it Grass, sit there. highs. Trash everywhere. Yeah. I mean, and this is what these babies come outside and see. So what you, So what the fuck you think wrong with them? Yeah. 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 That's what's wrong. It ain't they fucking fault. That's what they woke up and saw. Well, and I remember when we was young and we ate Focus Hope beef in the can, pork in the can, powder eggs, that thick ass, heart clogging ass cheese, That's right. uh, and, 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 and powder milk, yeah. pet milk, yeah. that nasty ass grapefruit juice, and we didn't even have wick. That's what it was. We had that. We, we didn't know nothing, but that's, that's what, what it was. we had. And, and so you accept those conditions. Yeah, right? we just like, man, this one, this we is go it. pick this up. Yeah. When mama say go pick this up, yeah. I go carry it. Put it in the car. Yep. And I know we got this to eat. This thick ass peanut butter tearing my bread. That's right. This is That's what. Right. This is it. When I want peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I gotta get ready. I probably want to heat this peanut butter. That's right. Just I know this is just a normal fucking thing. Because that's the process. My gym shoes, they were sliding like duck, duck, goose. Yeah, I was the goose all the fucking time. Because if I had to get out and chase you, when you cut that corner, I went <laughs> to the wall. Nah, this is serious shit. That I didn't is. know. It it. We laughed nothing about was, it. Yeah, now, I didn't know nothing was wrong. It. That's reality. Yeah, so, but when you apply that, you know, perception of it to what these youngsters are going through now, shit, I, you know, all we could do is try to give them another way out. Don't talk about them. Don't disrespect them and the shit that they got going on. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, niggas an asshole if he's a thief. Mm -hmm. A thief is a piece of shit. Something bred that piece of shit. I understand those circumstances. Yeah, so maybe you want to figure out how to stop Birthing these pieces of shit. Yeah, yeah straight up. Th this was somebody what taught him. Yeah. And why did they, they taught they, him they nothing else? Land. Yeah. In this environment. Who taught them that? Man, driving yeah. down one of these streets like a third world country. That's right. Welcome to Detroit City. And they got money. And we, they, they want to pass around. They want to get mad at me when I say, I think maybe some of the artists that come in town should maybe stop over to the one of the community centers or uh, stop at one of the homeless shelters. Maybe, I mean, goddamn, brother. Why not? You're only picking up a few hundred thousand. Right. Or, or, or you're picking up five figures. Yes, you are entitled to that. You don't owe nobody nothing, but goddamn, brother, don't you see what's going on around here? Use your platform. You're yeah. just going to come and do that to Man, I couldn't go to, man, listen. Oh, my God. I couldn't go perform in a small village in South Africa and take a damn. Right, right. Right, you but know you from a place like Detroit, yeah, where you see people struggling. Damn, they're like, like the third like world the country. You're yeah, right down around these streets, it's like a boom, boom. boom I live boom, on Dexter and Davidson. Hello, so you know exactly. Same house for sixty years in my family. I've seen Kaboom. all around it. Built that's up just what it again, is. tore down again, and now maybe something's gonna happen. So I, like, I'm, I'm with you, but how do, how, how do you tell artists then? to take that responsibility more seriously. You take it seriously. We see you taking it seriously. What do you say to either a Detroit artist or somebody coming into the city from out of town? 
what do you say right now, given given what's happening in Flint, given what's happening with the schools here in Detroit, given all the issues that they are to talk about, you talking about it, you found a way to get that out in your art and to still feel like you're not sacrificing your art by taking a stand on these things. So what do you say to somebody who doesn't want to do that? <clears throat> I say real is real. Gangsta is what's real. Gangsta is the truth. The truth is, fuck shit gets you put in the penitentiary, gets you put in the ground. Being a disrespectful, uh, 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 uncourteous, uh, you know, being a bad person gets you put in bad situations. And that's real. That's reality. There are two exits to sell and dealing in narcotics, and that is prison or death. There's been no changes other than worse in the community. Uh, so what's real is what's the truth. And why would you want to continue to be fed an illusion of life and continue to feed people an illusion of life? And that's not the truth. That's, right. that's not gangster at all. You actually being a fucking idiot. Like, I had my idiot days. But there was a reason all the time behind the things I said and the thing, the threats that I made were were not threats. They were promises. And they were always in reference to people who did things wrong. People who did things wrong against other people. I, I was the youngster in school that defended when the bully acted a fool on somebody. I said, fight me then. Yeah, yeah well, cause I ain't in your game, player. I ain't, yeah, I'm a square, I'm a lane. I'll beat your ass one on one. Give me two of y'all. Straight up. Yeah, I'm a Mathis. Yeah, we do this. Yeah. This is what we do. We've been doing this since babies. Yeah. What's up? Leave him alone. That was me. I'm still him. Leave him alone. Stop. Don't do, chill. Cuz, it ain't called for all that. Listen, make a better decision than that. That's, and look, look at me. Look what they say about me. Look at the, look, I go anywhere in this world by myself mm -hmm. and shake hands with people and hug people and be around some people that people say, what's you doing with him? Oh, that's my friend. Yeah, I, what's the problem? Because yeah. me and that man got an understanding of respect. That's right. And it comes from me telling the truth. All the time, telling the truth. Uncut, it's all wrong. I'm telling you like it is. I ain't finna sugarcoat it. I ain't finna give you no optical illusion. I ain't finna give you nothing other than what the fuck it is because I don't want you to expect nothing other than what it is. You should know as you entitled to know the truth. Well, if you entitled to know the truth, then you entitled to tell it and still be the man you are. Ain't nobody trying to take no credit away from you being having the ability to shoot a gun if a motherfucker fuck with you. Okay then. We got that understood. Mm -hmm. Now we got a bigger problem. And if you want to really impress me with your little rapping or your little music or your little beats, let me see you do something with that shit that benefits somebody. That's right. Other than you just making a fucking fool out of yourself, you fucking dope fiend, thieving junkie. Yeah. I said it. Ain't man one of the motherfuckers going to do nothing about it either. Why? Because I'm telling the truth. Straight up. Ply's got a record right now going crazy now, and I fuck with Ply. He's a funny motherfucker. He's a good artist, you know. And oh, I, yeah. I, I, and I don't know his reason behind this record. We got a record called Run Off With The Bag Twice. Why would you say that? We got to be more responsible than that, bro. We got to be, that's the bottom line. They don't say sugarcoating and no playing around. We, as we, we. As artists, have to be more responsible with the things that we say. We speaking these things into the universe, putting them into existence. They're causing death and destruction. The messages that we putting out to are the wrong messages. Look at look at your Instagram. Look at your Facebook. Mother and daughters on there arguing, threatening each other, fighting over boys. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, men just predators and pedophiles just hanging out on it just looking look at the women mm -hmm. look at them if you ain't never saw ass before you go to Are Instagram you're you gonna see it not and you're the message in piece. that yeah. is telling a young woman that has three million followers because she on this showing her ass it's telling the other young women do that yeah, okay, this, do that if this, if that's, because that's what you need you need the we gotta be more that. responsible but people 
people selfish, man. Yeah. They in their own world. This life truly indeed is about them. But I mean, you know, a selfish person have to live with that internally. And it's gotta be painful. It's gotta be painful. I, I can't. It, and if it's not, you're not human. When you just really just don't care about nobody else but yourself, you you are you've died and went to hell already. You ain't lived until you've been able to do something for somebody that can't do it for themselves. You know, and you really get a chance to experience joy when you feel the love and appreciation from somebody that you've done something for that they can. It ain't got to be monetary all the fucking time. You can stop and just help a person. Stop and talk to a person. Be not, let a person out the driveway every now and then. You know, just. Now, treat people how you want to be treated. Real talk. Well, trick trick. You dropped a lot of new, a lot of knowledge, a lot of jewels, a lot of dimes on the city. Uh, thank you for your time today. Any thank last you. words for the people? Well, we have? I have a radio show, and the show is called The Fly Zone. Love it on Dash Radio. So I, I, I'll be updating. It's an internet that. radio station, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah internet okay. radio yeah, station. Yeah, yeah. The show is called The Fly Zone, and we basically have these conversations amongst me and Diesel the Hitman, DJ Thriller. Uh, BH from GSM Smoke Gang uh, and Roscoe. Roscoe's got to go get us weed and bring it to the show. That's dope. We smoke and we have you know special guests and we you know we we address the music lightly you know but it's really about real life and everybody's opinion. All our guests you know and whatever question we want to ask. Oh shit, we ask Snoop some questions. <laughs> Man, I can't now wait. Was for fam Snoop was family. Snoop like, damn, man, come on, man. <laughs> but yeah, and don't be scared, brother. You know what's real. Tell the truth, man. That's all you got to do is tell the truth. You the gangstest nigga in the world when you tell the truth. And and, and and keep in mind, you have a right to remain silent as well. So you don't, when you ain't when you ain't telling the truth, shut the fuck up. You heard him. You heard him, and that's how we gonna end. If you ain't keeping it truthful, shut the fuck up. Period. I'm Blake on demand. This is Trick Trick. This is Detroit Hip Hop. Watch Detroit. We out. <laughs>